In previous videos, the connection and wiring of a 6 and 9 terminal electric motor was explained. On this occasion, it will be explained how to connect a 12 terminal or 12 point electric motor. To do this, you can make star connections or delta connections as indicated on the data plate of most electric motors. These electric motors are divided into six coils inside from which 12 tips or terminals emerge to the outside with which we can make different connection configurations depending on the need. The coils of an electric motor are the copper windings that are in the stator. If over time or due to misuse of the motor, the copper cable that makes up the coils deteriorates or breaks, then to repair it, it is necessary to rewind it, that is, make a change in the cable winding that is present inside the engine. Before explaining how to make delta or star connections, it is necessary to know how the terminals of each motor coil are named or labeled. Let's pay attention to the terminals of the first three coils. It is usually designated or named from terminal one to three on one side. And at the other end of the coils, they are named from terminal four to six if it is based on the NEMA standard or has letters U, V, and W if it is manufactured under the IEC standard. The same happens with the terminals of the last three coils. It is designated from terminal 7 to 9 on one side. And at the other end of the coils, terminal 10 to terminal 12 is named if it is based on the NEMA standard or it has letters U, V, and W, sub 3, and sub 4 if it is manufactured under the IEC standard. The first coil is then designated terminals 1 and 4. The second coil is designated with terminals 2 and 5. The third coil is designated with terminals 3 and 6. The fourth coil is designated with terminals 7 and 10. The remove coil is designated with terminals 8 and 11. The sixth coil is designated with terminals 9 and 12. Now let's look at the parallel delta or double triangle configuration. This configuration is used for low three-phase voltage. What is done is first form a triangle with three coils, the terminals of which must be as follows. Reading the terminals clockwise. One and four correspond to the first coil, two and five to the second coil, three and six to the third coil. The other three remaining coils are placed in parallel on each side of the triangle formed. And in the same way, reading the terminals clockwise, you have terminals 7 and 10 parallel to the first coil, 8 and 11 parallel to the second coil, 9 and 12 parallel to the third coil. The three power cables exit from each vertex of the triangle. Now let's see how this connection is made in the motor terminal box. In the box, we have a base with six terminals where we will be able to place the coil terminals. The terminals are going to be placed as follows. T1, T2, and T3 for one side and for the other side, T5, T4, and T6 in that order. The cable labels may only be numbered, but it's the same thing. Just look at the numbers here. Next, we place metal plates to join the terminals. Next, we place terminals 7 to 9 in that order. This is going to stay like this. The idea is to form three groups of four terminals each. On the other side, we also place the three terminals 12, 10, and 11 in that order. So we have, here are terminals 1, 6, 7, and 12 that will be connected to power line 1. Here are terminals 2, 4, 8 and 10 that will be connected to power line 2. Here are terminals 3, 5, 9, and 11 that will be connected to power line 3. As in everything, the ground protection cable must be considered, which is the green one, which must be connected to the motor casing. Now let's see what the series delta configuration is like, which is used for high voltage. In this configuration, the coils that make up each side of the triangle are connected in series. Clockwise, we would have terminals 1 and 4 of the first coil, 2 and 5 of the second coil, 3 and 6 of the third coil, then 
Terminals 7 and 10, 8 and 11, 9 and 12. Terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 must be placed in the motor terminal box as shown. Then, we must join terminals 4 and 7. Join terminals 5 and 8. Join terminals 6 and 9. We must also join 1 and 12 to feed with L1. Join 2 and 10 to feed with L2. Join 3 and 11 to feed with L3. For parallel star or double Y configuration, a star is formed with the first three coils where terminals 4, 5, and 6 must be joined. Also, we form another star with the three remaining coils where terminals 10, 11, and 12 must be joined. These two stars must be joined in parallel to feed the three lines. In the motor terminal box, terminals 4, 5, and 6 must be joined to form the first star. In another terminal of the box, we must join terminals 10, 11, and 12. Finally, join terminals 1 and 7 to feed line 1. Join terminals 2 and 8 to feed line 2. Join terminals 3 and 9 to feed line 3. We must fix or adjust the terminals to the terminals of the motherboard using nuts and thus prevent them from moving and causing a short circuit. We already saw the double Y connection where, according to the specifications of this motor, it must be used for a voltage of 380. Now let's look at the last configuration, which is the series star configuration, which is usually used for motor starting. Here, we must form the star with the last three coils, where terminals 10, 11, and 12 must be joined. The remaining three coils should then be connected in series to the center coils. Terminals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 must be placed in the motor terminal box as shown. Now we need to join three terminals, but since we no longer have space in the terminal box, I am going to do it separately. We must join the terminals 10, 11, and 12. Since this is outside the motherboard, it must be insulated either with tape or any other material to prevent it from making contact with the metal case of the motor. Next, we must join terminals 4 and 7. Join terminals 5 and 8. And terminals 6 and 9. Finally, the power lines L1, L2, and L3 must be connected to terminals 1, 2, and 3 respectively. Remember that you must fix or adjust the terminals using nuts if it has a terminal base like the one shown. Finally, the terminal box must be covered and everything will be ready to use the electric motor. Well friends, this is the end of this explanation. Remember that on the channel you can find videos explaining 6 and 9 terminal motors. See you later.